Hi, my name is Lee Novak. I work here at North Central Research Extension Center as a seed production specialist. Uh, my job here is to maintain and uh, increase all the new foundation seed lines. Uh, currently we maintain about 24 varieties um, of seed. Um, we do everything from increasing breeder seed just to maintaining um, all of our uh, older lines. Um, starting off with some of the varieties that we take care of, uh, flax, flax wise we have a couple brown flax varieties that we do increase and maintain. Uh, York which has been our standard for many years we keep in, keep that one maintained. Uh, we also have a new release, uh, ND Hammond. It's a new brown flax. Um, it's uh, got a little bit higher yield potential than our typical York yield. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a very good variety. Um, guys are really excited about it and we're hoping to have pretty good seed production. After last fall we've had some uh, issues with producing enough seed of that variety. So uh, We also maintain a yellow variety which is Omega Flax. Um, that one's been a standard in the food market for many years, so we uh, keep that one maintained here. Uh, moving on, uh, barley-wise, we uh, uh, do the variety of ND Genesis. ND Genesis, it's a great milling variety, known for uh, low protein, high yield. Uh, we've had pretty good demand for that variety, uh, going into the food market, purling market, and malting market. Uh, uh, spring wheat varieties that we maintain here. Uh, Bowles and Barlow, Elgin ND are some of our varieties that are older varieties that we maintain. Um, some of our newer ones, uh, ND Vipro, which was released here a few years ago. That one is a uh, high yield, uh, good protein, and excellent milling quality. Uh, the latest release that we've had was uh, ND Froberg. Uh, good yield, uh, excellent, excellent milling quality. So that one will be coming out soon. Um, the other one we do maintain is a Montana line called Duclair. It's a solid stem variety for the guys that are affected with uh, sawfly. Uh, we do maintain that one too. We've had a little bit of popularity in some of those hot pocket areas for sawfly. Uh, moving on to our derms, uh, we have, uh, we maintain Divide and Joppa, two of our older lines. And then we also maintain our newer lines of ND Grano and ND Rivland. Both have been excellent yielders. Um, they uh, have a lot of popularity and are starting to take over quite a few acres. Um, moving on, the other one we have also increase is uh, Field Pea. We have one new variety that's been released. It's called ND Dawn. Um, it's a uh, very high protein, yellow pea, large seed size and it's resistant to uh, lodging. Oh, and then finally, we're uh, talking about soybeans. We have two different, uh, or two different types of soybeans. We, we maintain two varieties of conventional soybeans, Ashtabula and D. Henson. Uh, Ashtabula has been a real popular variety for us. We have some people that contract for non-glyphosate uh, tolerant variety for the food market. And that one we've had quite a bit of demand for. Uh, moving on to our Roundup Readies, we have two varieties, uh, the ND17009 and the ND18008. Our 17009s have been a real popular bean and are taking over a lot of acres in the, this area. So we're pretty happy with that one. And then we also have one more experimental GT line that uh, possibly be coming out maybe next year. So. Um, that's most of the varieties that we maintain and increase. Um, as far as the, our new seed conditioning facility that we're currently working on, uh, currently we have the building up and uh, all the electrical, main electrical components are installed, lighting and stuff like that. Uh, the concrete is poured. Uh, we're currently bidding for millwright work, uh, some of those minor equipment, and um, the electrical integration on that. So if all goes well, we're hoping to possibly be cleaning seed by late this fall. So uh, if anybody's got any questions or any concerns or just want to know about some of the varieties a little more in depth, they can sure call me here at the Research Center. Thank you.